welcome to Venice. What better place to start than with some bobbin gondolas? Um, got here yesterday, so I was going to do a vlog last night, but it was absolutely packed here last night. So um, I've come down this morning. It's very early in the morning. Um, you can see just down below me here, I've got some gondolas in the foreground. Um, sun's not up yet, but it's looking really nice. I know this is a cliche shot, but I don't care. It's one of those shots that I've always wanted to do. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. And my plan on this trip is to, um, this was one shot that I wanted to get. Um, I'm down on St. Mark's Square at the moment, so there's, there's quite a few shots that I want to try out here. Um, like I say, last night I was here, um, got some great shots. Have a look at these. set up a um, very sort of simple shot with a couple of gondolas in I'll show you the camera and here we go I've got a shot here got the lantern in the top of the frame a couple of gondolas in the foreground and the church tower an iconic sort of church tower in the background um, I've already started shooting because the, the lights coming up a bit already and coloring up the sky so it's looking pretty pretty good well I've got a simple setup here um, in terms of exposure, I'm on bulb mode at the moment because it's quite dark and it's very dark in the foreground. So I've got a, just a two-stop soft grad on just to sort of hold the detail back in the sky. Um, exposure time is roughly about a minute at the moment. And like I say, it, it creates that kind of movement effect with the, with the gondolas in the foreground. And like I say, I know, it's, I know it's a cliche shot, but you know, it's, it's one of those, those shots that I wanted to take. Um, yeah, it's great fun love it it's um it's already getting busy here and it's only well, it's not even seven o'clock in the morning yet um but a complete contrast to last night uh last night was just pff, crazy busy um i was trying to get some shots around the square but uh it was a bit of a, a non-starter last night but i'm going to try a few in a minute um but like i said i'm going to wait here for a bit and see what happens with this light it's just looking pretty promising at the moment just seeing the distance there that's the, the sky coloring up already looking pretty good jump back into manual mode now um, so I'm back on about 30 seconds exposure because the lights picking up quite quickly now so I'm out of bulb mode I'm still using my grad down over the sky so bringing the grad line down here and it's a soft grad so it doesn't um, it doesn't kind of give you that grad line through the shot and you can see the movement in the in the gondolas there perfect so focusing wise I focused on the on the tip of the boat there so you just see that there where is it there that's my focusing point I know it's moving around but um, you pick your focus point um, and then just shoot away to your heart's content simple grad filter and just wait for the changes in light you can see the color it's just it's going crazy in the sky now I'm going to take a wander over to um, St. Mark's Square in a minute. There's Doge's Palace in the background. Yeah, it's looking 
great. There's, there's already about four or five photographers down here at the moment, making the most of it. So don't blame them. In fact, they were here before me, which is um, quite unusual, really. I'm usually down here, but my partner's wandering around somewhere here at the moment. So she's she's braved the the alarm call this morning. So oh yeah, it's, it's great. It's looking really good. All right, moving over to the square now. So I'm going to get this shot from the corner of the square, looking through to the sun sunrise. It's not sunset, sunrise. Um, you can see in the distance that the sky is colouring up pretty good. Um, these iconic shots, you know, it's, it's hard to sort of ignore them. I, I say I, I've seen loads of shots of bobbing gondolas, but it's one of those shots that you've got to you've got to get. You know, it's. Um, but also on this trip, I want to try and get something a bit different, the sort of kind of hidden corners, um, things that you don't normally see. Uh, but yeah, you can't you can't sort of escape doing the, the classic shots. Um, so that's that's those in the bag, so to speak. Um, but yes, yeah, so all the lights have gone out now. So I'm in the square at the moment. See the tower in the background there. So yeah, and you can see the sun on my face. So it's coming up pretty quick. See the sky in the distance there. So I'm going to get set up here on this corner and um, take a nice shot. So. Just waiting for the sun to come up. Ah, this is lovely. It's nice not having loads of people around either, but it's one of those things you can't really escape. So, just got to get on with it. It's a bit kind of strange shooting stuff and talking to a camera when there's loads of people around, but hey, who cares? <laughs> right, I'm gonna get set up. I'm set up on this shot now. You can see the, uh, the corner of Doge's Palace there. And the sun's still not come up yet, but it's, it's colouring up really nice. I've put um, a six-stop neutral density filter on because there's quite a few people milling around and it's, it's given me about a minute exposure. So with that in place, it kind of blurs the people and kind of makes it look like it's empty, which is not completely empty. It's starting to fill up now, but the light is just gorgeous here. It's, uh, but I've got a very nice simple shot set up here uh, with the, half of the, the arches there looking out through with the lanterns in the distance. Again, another probably a, a iconic shot, but hard to escape these. Another important thing, I think, as a photographer, is having a partner that, um, that's kind of willing to come out and stand with you for hours on end. So she's here. Are you still awake? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's quite important because it's, um, you know, you spend hours sometimes just stood by the tripod waiting for the light and it can be quite boring, but um, yeah, it's good to have somebody patient with you. <laughs> It's important to get up early. I'm glad I got here. Um, we're in the dark this morning, so it's uh, the best of the light's gone, I think, which I, I managed to capture. Um, I'm just waiting now and seeing if it, if it changes. But um, yeah, I got here this morning in the dark. There was already probably about three or four photographers there, all sort of shuffling for space. But it's one of those things, you know, you just, you just kind of get your little spot and get in there. And, you know, I had a chat to a couple of guys there this morning and, Everybody wants the same sort of shot, and you know they're all quite courteous, and it's just one of those things. You, you get that with with kind of iconic spots. Um, you're gonna have to share the share the sort of viewpoints, which is fine. You know, it's um, it's all very well mannered, so it's it's good. All right, breakfast is calling. Um, that was a really successful shoot this morning and um, yesterday as well. Always difficult when you first get to a place to try and get into the swing of things um, but yeah I got some got some nice shots yesterday and then last night and this morning were just fantastic um, all the, the the shots that I wanted are in the bag which is always a good thing um, 
I'm going to uh, head back for breakfast now. And like I say, I hope you've enjoyed watching this one. Um, part two will be coming up soon. Uh, so join me for then. Thank you for watching and see you in a bit.